Python is an all-purpose open source programming language. It's an interpreter. It's very interactive and object-oriented. Python has unlimited applications from simple programming to analytics and artificial intelligence. It has three decades of history. It's very rich in libraries. So almost anything you want to do, you will find a module that you can use and quickly put in a function to perform that operations. Next, we will see how do we set up Python. Python has two versions, 3.x and 2.x and it has availability on various operating system platforms. 3.x is what is the future of Python. However, not all libraries are available for 3.x as well as some Linux distribution still come with 2.x and you have to manually upgrade them. To download and install Python, you, have, you will first go to python.org and start the download process. It's about 29 to 30 MB for Windows, which we are going to see now. In the download page, you will observe that there are both versions of Python still available. So 2.7 and 3.6 are the latest versions available for 3.x and 2.x versions. So now we will download 3.x which is 3.6.1 which is available now and then try to install. So we can customize the installation based on our requirements. So here we are going to choose everything and install everything. In the installation, you also have a process to set the path, but we are going to do it manually later. Now, let the, ins the installation has begin and you will see that it's a 32-bit installation currently happening. The 64-bit is also available for certain platforms. Once the installation is done, we will go ahead and set the environmental variable, the path variables, so that you can easily access python from your command prompt or from within your system so this is the way we set it in windows so in unix it's much simpler you just have to export dollar path is equal to dollar path colon the path of python binaries and scripts where it is available here we're going to go add a new variable and then add the python path here you see that there are already two paths available this is for a previous version of python that's already available in my system now we will go to the path where it is installed and then copy the correct path and put it add it to the system's path variable the variable path variable can be set at the user level or at the system level so that all users can access here in this particular example i am showing you how it's added to my my user profile alone so we are adding both two paths one of python and then another one which is for the scripts where you will have the pip and gz install and other utilities available Once you have set the path, you are ready to go. All you have to do is to go to the